The Podcasting Dead is available on iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, and SoundCloud. Make sure to subscribe for more podcasts. And while you're at it, drop us a like. If you want to help support the channel and have access to extra content, secret contests, and more, make sure to search for us on Patreon. Patreon.com slash The Podcasting Dead. Oh, well, it's now time to talk about, what is this, episode five of The World Beyond? Uh, yeah. Uh, Walking Dead World Beyond continues to make me wonder why I'm staying up so late on Sunday nights. Before we get into it, though, I'm Justin. I'm JP. And we're the Podcasting Dead. Uh, If you also watch Fear of the Walking Dead, don't forget to uh, check out our review on that. I guarantee you it was a much better review than what we're going (laughs) to do for the World Beyond. Oh, this show just does not... If I have one more like Disney moment of characters looking at each other and like giving a reassuring nod, I'm gonna lose my schnit. Dude, I don't like anything. I didn't. I didn't care anything about the uh, the flashback scenes. You know, with uh, well, you know that was Elton's the flashback scene. That was the only part that I did like. Was, Why would they was be Elton's in a museum? Flashback. I mean, we know from having lived through a pandemic where the Walking Dead weren't out there eating people. When things start going to shit, like you're not going to be leaving your home, much less having a night at the museum. You know. Well, I don't. I don't. I think it just kind of all happened at once. You know, I don't think it was like COVID. I don't think it was a progressive thing that they knew ahead of time. I think it just like everything was normal, and then bam, shit hit the fan. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. But now I didn't care for the whole like I'm scared, stuck under the the boat thing, and all of that. But, um. You know, I, I the, the good things about this episode were I did like learning Elton's backstory. I love the music in it, like when he finally gets out the box and everything. Like that, whoever did that score did a fantastic mm-hmm. job. But then, you know, I like that Hope sees who his mom is and realizes, yo, that's a chick I capped back at the beginning of all of this. Right. You know, definitely going to be heading down uh, that drama drama lane here in a bit. But. um just the whole episode leading up, like for me, that was good. I like that. We're, we're we're learning more about the characters. We're developing some drama, but at the same time, just the whole episode was just oh, I didn't care. Not one to oh, we're we get all this work for this boat, and then like we go to a commercial break and come back, and they're already off the boat. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you put, and then I, can you really power a boat with nail polish, dude? I don't. I don't. I mean, like the the rumors out there is that Rick is is going to make an appearance in the episode ten, the finale of this season. And by God, I hope that I'm still watching at that point. I'm still going to be watching it begrudgingly, but yeah, I mean, the, their whole cockamamie raft thing they built would they really? Have, I don't know, man. Or were any of them like on the engineering team in high school? And how convenient that the girl's name is Huck. Right. Right. Like, wow. I mean, that, how on the nose could that? I just, I don't know, man. I, I want to like it. And I, I promise you, if you're new to this channel, you can go back a, a few months. JP and I did a couple of podcasts about what we knew about the show leading into it. We were stoked. We were like, hey, it's only going to be two seasons, 10 episodes each. So they know where they're going. There's a story to tell and we're excited. And instead, we've just pretty much got all what I consider filler I mean, I know they're going somewhere, and I know we have to see the journey, but it's just, I don't... I mean, the journey could be interesting, though. Right. I mean, it, you know, they, it could still be a good show. I mean, it feels like no threat, because as soon as walkers show up, they're going to look at each other and give that little Disney Channel, you got this, yeah, buddy, nod. And I'm so tired of the theme of we're all in this together. Right. Oh, my God, man. Let's just go watch High School Musical. I, at this point, I think I'd rather. I mean, it's it just, it really is some of the most clear. It's like, did they let kids write this show? Because I I hate to be such a, a negative Nancy on it, but at the same time, I mean, we're not paid by AMC to do this podcast, so we like to keep it as, as 100 with you guys as we can. And, you know, like with The Walking Dead, well, we love The Walking Dead and its universe, but, I mean, we don't even mind calling the main show out if there's an episode we don't like, but... Oh, my God. Like, I'd be lying to you, I, honestly, if I tried to act like I like this show at any, any, you know, at all. Well, it's like they were like, all right, this is everything they didn't do right in The Walking Dead and Fear the Walking Dead. We're just going to pull that strategy. Right. Just make a show out of it, you know, and I'm sure it'll work for us. No, it sucks, dude. It's a crappy show, 
And I think they should be ashamed. I think it should be wiped from the cannon. I don't think it should be even considered cannon. Well, if Rick shows up, it really ain't no choice but to have it cannon then, you know? I think it should just be a uh, like a, a dream that Rick's having as they're taking him in the chopper to wherever he's going. It's like, <laughs> damn, that was a shitty, boring dream. I hope I don't fall back asleep. What kind of anesthesia, anesthesia did you guys give me? Yeah, man, it's just awful. No, it is. And it's, uh, you know, and it's, it's, and I don't even really, you know, like, like Iris, I'm sorry. I, they keep trying to kind of push her as like the leader of this group. And I just don't get that from her at all. You know what I mean? Like, I, I hope I like, okay. Uh, Elton, I do like Silas and Iris. I really don't care about at all. Well, man, I thought it would be really interesting, you know, when uh, when they find out that Elton was kind of betraying them, if Silas was, like, kind of getting into murder mode with them, you know, I thought that would have been interesting. Man, Silas might end up straight up trying to kill Elton because now he thinks he's against them. But, no, of course, they, you know. They come together yeah, against the together. odds because this is the Disney Channel presents our take on The Walking Dead. Yeah. Yeah, I, like I said, Iris just, I, I feel like they keep trying to make her the leader. And it's I don't think it's the actress's fault, but just that character. I, I don't see leadership quality in her whatsoever um you know hope i i like because but i've always just kind of like that outcast kind of jessica jones character mm-hmm. but aside from having that going from her i'm not really that invested into her i do like elton and i want to like felix and huck right but I, I don't know and then i mean like you got like huck playing both sides kind of agreeing with felix felix but then telling her i, I don't know man it I just, I don't know. And then we didn't even get, okay, so like last week, the episode was boring, but then at least at the end, you get a little peek into the CRM, which is bringing yeah. us closer to Rick. And and now we, we, we sat through this whole boring episode and we didn't even get that. Dude, I'm ready to fall asleep just talking about the show. You know, I was really into the podcast we just did on Fear. That was that was some good stuff to talk about, man. This is just uh Yeah, Fear the Walking Dead this season. I, I've gotta say, and I don't know if it's that the writing has gotten much better or it's just better than last season and that's why I love it. But I'm really into Fear the Walking Dead right now. Like yeah. I, I'm digging the show. I'm digging the characters. I like I think my only complaint is again the same thing I've said for the last several seasons. Stop focusing entire episodes on just one character, which they are kind of getting away from because we see bits of what Morgan's doing. I mm-hmm. just wish they would do more of that, like splitting the episodes up. But yeah. I'm enjoying this season of Fear, so I'm glad. God, can you imagine if we had like last season of Fear and this both? That would be two hours of just forcing yourself to watch TV. Dude, we, we'd have to change the name of the podcast because we couldn't we couldn't do just strictly Walking Dead podcast. Yeah, no. We'd have to just wait till the Rick show comes back on or something. But yeah, I just, I'm not, I don't know, man. I, it's just, it's so, like I said, if I see one more reassuring nod, I'm going to lose my ish. Because <laughs> it's just like, that's, oh my God, man. You don't get through the zombie apocalypse by being a plucky group of teenagers that pull together. Like, I know this is some stupid old tired plot point. I really th- think by this point, we should have seen at least one of the two, one or two of the kids get ripped apart. So that the other ones realize, oh, my God, we thought our can-do attitude was going to get us through the apocalypse. We're in over our heads. Like, we should Yeah. I said that last week, man. They should have brought out a few more teenagers, and we should have already had two or three teenagers die very brutally. Mm -hmm. Just so that would be, if I was writing it, that would be the plot point. Like, now these kids have left home. Now they don't know if they can get home. Should they push forward? Like, they're in over their heads. But no, of course, Felix shows up, and now they've got guardian angels, more or less, that keep them out of any real experience of danger, you know. And then girl's got a a, a, um, a stick tied to a uh, rock, like that's really gonna. I don't know. Yeah, her her spear is by far the dumbest. Yeah, I mean, yeah, she's got like a stone age to weapon or whatever, and it's just like tied to the stick. Yeah, yeah, I don't see how that's gonna do anything. Yeah, it just uh, like I said, I don't. Um, I don't know, man. I just, I, I'm trying to, to like it. And I just, uh, maybe, maybe next week will be better. They, what, I guess run into a new group and they decide to help them. And it's just a bunch of new, ma- a new merry band of other teenagers that were going to join. I don't know, man. That <laughs> was just that. It's just, again, it's the same old, like plucky, happy go lucky teenagers fa- find themselves in peril, but with their can do attitude. 
come together and get it. Oh, my God. Okay. You know, the lots of able-bodied adults and military have went out into this world and not been able to make it. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I'm sorry, but you need more than a can-do attitude to get to the apology. Like I said, man, they should have written it to where there were maybe a few more teenagers to where you think, oh, man, this cast is a little overloaded. But nope, every episode, someone's getting ripped apart, and it's just them realizing that they're going to have to, you know, get with the par- – you know, just like, wow, we really shouldn't have – we've made a huge mistake. We're, we were not ready for this. Because I thought the first episode was very boring, but I try mm-hmm. to defend the show and say that, you know, well, I think that the whole point of this episode was just to show you how boring and, and <laughs> how cushy they had it so that when they get out into this hellscape that it becomes, you know what I mean? Like it's it's now a terrifying, you know, it almost makes The Walking Dead scary again because we're going to kind of see it from their their point of view. But no, they get out of their cushy lives and everything just seems to work out for them. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's bad. Are there any good things you can say about last night's episode? Not really, no. <laughs> Not a one? I, I can't. No, I, I didn't enjoy it. I, I didn't like it. Oh. I don't know, man. I, I think it's a bad show. Like I said, um, I, I can say that I did enjoy it getting Elton's backstory and I did, uh, what else was it? I, I did enjoy that he, that she, that hope now knows that his, it's Elton's mom. She mm-hmm. killed that could get interesting later. Um, I would love for Elton to become like the super genius bad guy. Yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah. Anything would be better than, you know, what's happening now. If they run into Rick, this is going to be like, I don't think you kids have a chance to survive, but your can-do attitude tells me otherwise. Let's do this. And then they're going to dumb down Rick to get on those kids. Let me know. If my son Carl had been a little bit more like y'all, he'd still be around. I mean, he was much more badass and able-bodied, but he did not have that can-do attitude like you. I did think the fishing line thing was pretty dope. Yeah, when yeah, Felix that, took the yeah. f- took the little, <laughs> he said, "Elton, let me get your fishing pole," and <laughs> just completely forgot that he had that. And he pulls out this little like, like something my one and a half year old daughter would be using, right. <laughs> little fishing pole. Yeah, but the way he wrapped that, that was pretty slick. I like yeah, that. What that I was, didn't, that was good. What I didn't get to is they're all bunched up on it, and he's just standing there staring at I them. Thought he'd be stabbing them. Eventually, yeah. they come around the sides, and then that's another scene that just made me cringe when Hope and Iris come like, yeah, and they push the zombies. I'm like, fuck off, man. Neither one of you are able to kill. We've uh, unless you, I, you're not Walker killers yet. I don't know, man. Just when they came to his aid, I was like, oh boy, this is like Power Rangers level cheesy. Yeah. Which dude. don't get me wrong, I used to love the Power Rangers. But if you go back no, and Power watch Rangers it now, awesome. it's 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 very very campy. But you got to be high to enjoy it. Yeah, it sure. mostly. You got to be high. It's like TMNT I can go back and watch. I mean, yeah, it has its moments, but it's overall still very enjoyable, especially the movies. I go back and try to watch the Power Rangers stuff, and I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, man, and it, believe me, being high does not help the world beyond. I've, I've tried it. Well, it just would put me to, it would put me to sleep, man. Yeah. I mean, it, but, you know, I like that, but then he just stood there and stared at the zombies. I'm like, what are you doing? I'd, like, run up and stab one or two and bounce back. And then I saw the other two come around the corner, and, of course, Hope and Iris, two People who just last week couldn't even, you know, do it. Silas is the only one that could actually kill a zombie, but all of a sudden they're brave. And then they all did the stupid, like, look at each other, like, we got this. Yeah. I would love for that look, we got this. And then one of them just gets ripped apart. And it's like, oh my God, we don't have this. Yeah. I thought we had it. We don't. And of course, you know, like the boat should have, they shouldn't have made it on the boat. They should have had to have jumped in and swam or something like, like right when you, I mean, it's just, it's also predictable. We all knew the boat was going to run. They were going to get it in the water at the last minute. What would have really blown my mind is if the zombies just started ripping that boat apart and it would have killed like Felix or Huck yeah, or Iris or Silas, you know, one of the characters that I'm not as big on. I like Felix and Huck, but I mean, in the last few episodes and I was like, okay, they're going to bring some adult to the show. Yeah. Them being there is going to make it, and it didn't. It just, it's still just kind of like that raft. It's just like uh, putting along. Mm-hmm. And then Elton spills all the nail polish. and's like, I swear I didn't do that on purpose. And of course, what does Silas do? Silas helps him up. They give each other that little, we got this look and nod. And we're in it together, guys. I mean, I'm just waiting for him to break into song and dance. 
It's the Walking Dead world where da 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 teamwork. Da 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 da. We can do this. We can do anything. Just something stupid like that. Like that's what it feels like. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's I, I I can't say anything good about. it. If I get a chance, I'm gonna go back and take all these episodes and cut out all of the little like look and we got this moments and just put a little ding with him like ding ding. I think we should take. I think we should. I should put that together right. That's how we should wrap up and salvage this show right. All right, so I'm gonna put together all of those cheesy moments and then every time one plays, we gotta take a, a drink and we'll Dude. podcast while we do it. All right, yeah. And then probably end up absolutely wasted halfway through. It's only been three minutes. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, man. But, yeah, I just, I'm not digging this show, man, at all. Like, I really thought it was going to pick up. I mean, it has its moments. I won't say that there is no merit to it at all, but the pros just don't outweigh the cons with this show. It's like, yeah, you might get a moment or two that you enjoy, but you have to sludge through an hour of boring BS to get to it. It, it, yeah, it's it's not even worth it. I mean, you really could. I mean, you just the, the, you just got such a a great canvas to work on. I mean, you got these kids that have pretty much been living very pre-apocalypse lives. I mean, for them, it's almost like the apocalypse just started. And whereas Rick and his group were, you know, two zombies was enough to lose Sophia. You know, two zombies was enough threat for them. Uh, having been in the apocalypse for a little while that, you know, Rick had to leave Sophia because two zombies was something he had to maneuver around. It was a difficult thing to take them out. And, you know, and then, I mean, one might argue that they've done that with this, but no, they've not learned to do anything. And now they're just the power of teamwork. They take on a whole horde of zombies and it's no big deal. Yeah, dude. I mean, the, Huck should have just handled those zombies as they started pouring out of that building. No, oh, just yeah. not even let them get that close. I mean, come on, they've they've been in there for forever. We're not talking fresh zombies. He could have handled that. At least get them out in the field and spread them out a little bit, then just go in and start taking them out. Yeah. I mean, that's what I'd do. Lead them out to the field and then just kind of stagger back and forth mm-hmm. to get them kind of separated and just go in and get one or two and get back. I mean, it. I mean, he's supposed to be like Billy Badass. You would think he, you know, just been like, all right, you guys head back to the boat. I'll handle this real quick. There's like uh, 15 of them or something, you know. So, yeah, I, shit. It was it was one part, uh, season seven maybe of The Walking Dead, where Rick and them encounter like, I don't know, five to seven walkers, and Rick pulls out his pocket knife. He's mm-hmm. like, I got this. And then yeah. like the next scene is they're all dead, and he's walking on through, but. Yeah, I don't know, man. Let us know your thoughts in the bottom. Please let me know how I'm looking at this wrong and why I should love this show. Because there maybe there is something out there that I'm missing. But at the moment, I'm just not. I, I just, I, I, man, I'm going to keep watching it because we started the podcast. Yeah. Rick's supposed to show up at some point. we got to see this through. But I would just know we can't be the only ones bored to death by this show. Yeah, I was trying to find some reviews, and uh, I, I don't think anyone's even taking the time to really review them. <laughs> they gave the fr- I remember you said uh, somebody, like some like IGN, or, 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 or I don't want to miss. Well, now let's see. The Vulture gives last night episode uh, four out of five stars. Okay, well, apparently the Vulture is seeing something we're not. Yeah, yeah. Maybe there's some artistic value there that we're just not seeing but i know the first episode we got crappy reviews across the board Mm -hmm. um rotten tomatoes that's who it was i think that you had looked up a review from and yeah you know but like i said uh homeboy that's smart elton i like him right i can get down with him um silas don't really care about i like hope don't really care about iris um because i feel like they keep focusing on hope and elton yeah. But in the meantime, they're trying to make Iris the hero, like the leader of the group. And then when they're pushing the boat, man, we can do this. Oh, my God. Shut up yeah. with your Disney Channel shit, man. Oh, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm just angry with the show because it makes me stay up so late when I have to turn around and get up early for work. I don't know, man. I, just, I don't think we lost good. the talking dead to you. Yeah, I'd rather watch that. I'd ra- the Talking Dead is is more interesting, you know. Just watching that. Oh man, I um. But yeah, I'm I'm hoping maybe. I mean, Fear the Walking Dead's kind of done this. I think the first season, you and I were both were kind of like, eh, you were a little more into the second season than I was. But eventually, we got to the point where we were just so out of it, we quit podcasting about it. Mm-hmm. 
Then we came back and season after season three because season three was so phenomenal. And then the first half of season four was really good. Then the second half and season five all pretty much sucked. But now we're it's good. So like we've trudged through some crap, but we've also gotten some really great moments from the show. Maybe the world beyond will get to that point. Well, it's, it's only going to be two seasons, right? So right. They need, to, they need to pick up the tempo and get on to the good stuff. Pick up the pace, man. You've only got uh, a total of, we've been through five, we've only got like 15 episodes left. Yeah. Thank God for that. I don't know. Maybe by season two, man, it'll, I, I don't know. I mean, I want to know more about, I only started watching this show because I thought it was going to tell us a lot more about the CRM, this mm-hmm. mysterious group we've been kind of seeing off and on for a few seasons on The Walking Dead. They got Rick. Uh, Jadis was sacrificing people to them. Like we, you know, want to know more about them. But instead, I watched a show thinking that the kids were just kind of leading us to the bigger story. But instead, it's all about the kids and very little about the CRM. Yeah. I feel like I've been cheated. I think we all have. It's time I'm never going to get back. But let us know what you think. We're going to quit our bitching and moaning. I'm not enjoying the show right now. Hopefully, that's going to get better. I want to like it, and I think the 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 actors in the show do a mighty fine job. I just don't like where the story's going. No. Um, I mean, it definitely isn't hurt by bad acting because I mean, I think all of these these these. Well, I want to call them kids, but hell, half of them I, I hope isn't that much younger than us. You know what I mean? So it's like. But these kids are doing a great job acting. I mean, everything's the cinematography is great. It's just the, the story. Oh, what did they like? Mm. But let us know your thoughts below. And uh, I'm gonna go get some breakfast. Uh, JP, we got to rate this episode. <laughs> we have to do it. We we rate every episode of The Walking Dead and Fear. We have to rate this on a scale of one to five. Of course, five being amazing, one being absolute garbage. What do you give this episode? If I can't go lower than a one, I guess that's what I'll give it. I'm giving it a one and a half because right. I did like the Elton backstory. All right. And uh, I like the music in the backstory, and I like that he she found out about the mom. So I'm going to give it a one and a half to maybe a two. Mm, okay. Maybe I'll go with a two. I won't be that harsh. Two. But let us know your thoughts. What are you rated? What are we missing? Why should we love this show? I mean, we definitely want to know your opinions, so leave them in the bottom below. Don't forget, on Friday, we do Walking Dead What Ifs, so preferably you can go to last week's Walking Dead What If video and leave your what if there. But if not, you can leave it in this video. We'll check all three uh, as we get to Friday. And then Wednesday, don't forget, we've got Weird Wednesday coming up. Uh, Last week, we played a couple of uh, real-life ghosts caught on camera clips and, and disgust and we might do that or we might go back to something uh conspiracy theory uh you know in nature we'll see but also patreon don't forget to check out our patreon uh, patreon.com slash podcasting dead where you can get uh podcasts that are a lot more interesting than this show i can guarantee you that for as little as a dollar a month so go check that out in the meantime i'm justin i'm jp and we're the podcasting dead oh jp's falling asleep again sorry